Y'all, I was on my way into a door of a store and as I was opening the door, a big gust of pollen just came and like overtook me and another person that was trying to go in the door as well. So if you guys don't see any videos from me within the next month, know that I was taken out by a pollen dust ball from somewhere. Just, just know that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherie. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video today. And yes, I am coming to you in today's video with, I am on track. Like I'm not episodes behind. Like thank God for this break. Guys, we are on episode 13 of season six. So I believe that leaves us with uh, two more episodes. I think we have the episode next week. And then the week after next, we will have um, the reveals on whether they choose to stay together or not. So, yeah, this is almost over again. It went by really, really fast. So, let's talk about episode 13. So, I like to start this time with uh, Molly and Jonathan. Um, we see the couples meeting up with each other um, to have dinner. And I like this season that they are allowing the couples to meet each other before and have multiple interactions with each other before um you know at the decision like they are literally going through the process together and i think that was very very smart of the producers or the experts or whoever came up with that to have the couples interact with each other because truly nobody else knows what it feels like to be in that experience besides the couples who've already done it before and the people who are currently going through it so i think that that was a very very good idea uh, for the experts but we see them get together and yeah, Molly and Jonathan, um, I said in my previous video that Jonathan is internalizing all of this stuff of constantly being rejected. He wants so badly to be married that he's willing to take uh, what Molly is giving. And it's just, it's, it's building up. It is, and you see it seep through every now and then. Um, but I just feel like, He's, it's only going to be so much that he can taste because uh, he made a statement about that she's cold to him, but she's especially cold to him when the cameras are off. And I believe that because I just get that she has this thing on, like this filter, where when the, when the cameras are on, we're only seeing a part of the real um, Molly. Like I said, I don't know this woman, but it just, I just, my spidey senses are, are tangling about this, about Molly. And I don't want it to be true. I want her to just not be that, <laughs> what I'm thinking in my mind. Um, but we see a glimpse of it um, in this past episode of uh, how uh, Jonathan is being treated. And he likes to cover a lot of stuff in humor. A lot of stuff he covers up and he... Um, he deflects and so you don't really get to go deeper into it because he just puts on a humor wall a humorous wall and we just move on from it but I just I don't uh, I, I, I don't know about this one that I don't think that it's going to work I'm gonna go I'm gonna make a definitive statement and say I don't think I think if they choose to stay together um, after decision day that it will not we'll read about it either when they do a reunion or whatever they do um, or we'll get an update in a few weeks or a few months that they are not together because I just I don't know I just think that like Molly even said that on paper they meet each other's um, expectations of a mate except for that you cannot manufacture chemistry and that's what people ask me all the time what type of man are you looking for I don't know. I I have I have a list of physical attributes that are, yes that will be nice to have, but you can. I, chemistry is important and compatibility. Those those factors are very very important, and you just you just when you see it, you know it, or it was, when you know it, you see it. I don't know however it goes. You guys know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, chemistry is important and. I just, they're just like, they keep missing each other. And yeah, I, I'm going I'm to go on record today 
and saying, I don't think that Jonathan and Molly are going to last. So let's keep watching and see. Oh, and I forgot to add, like when we seen the previews for next episode that one of the experts is calling Molly out. Girl, I was like, oh, <laughs> here we go. So we really need to pay attention next week. And I hope that I get to um, see it. next week and I should be able to make a video uh, for, for next week's episode next week so we guys can be we can be right on track and I don't have to be catching up on episodes so yeah next week is about to be popping with Molly so let's let's keep watching for that too <laughs> all right moving on to Ryan and Jackie um something just over the over the weeks that I've been watching Ryan and just seeing how he has been uh, presenting himself and just little things that have been happening it seems like to me and just what I'm watching like he is one of those men who he wants to put on a front kind of like be this person I think I said it before in a previous video that he just wants to be this one person on camera and then when you turn the cameras off or behind closed doors he's a completely different person and um I don't think that Jackie is happy and in the in the previous not previous and the upcoming um, episode when we got to see a sneak peek of it we see that the ex one of the experts she notices that it is um as well as that she doesn't look happy she she looks like she's hanging on by, by this like something is happening I don't know whether I don't want to say it's emotional abuse or anything else crazy like that um, but she does not look happy in this marriage and she's really trying but she just does not look happy um and i think she just does not want it to fail but i still feel that you know ryan is just something's not right something is not right and i, I honestly that i do believe based on what i'm seeing that he is really a jerk and it's just not a good situation so I'm going to go on record today as well. I'm making all these decisions about people today. I'm just confident in it today. And then next week I'll have a different opinion. <laughs> but I'm going to go on record today and say, I don't think decision day, I don't think they're going to stay together. I think maybe Molly and Jonathan will stay together for a decision day. Um, but Ryan and Jacqueline, I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to stay together on decision day. So... Yeah, but it it was even when they had their interactions with the couples at this at the table, it was it was yeah, it was a lot. So I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, and I gotta fi finish up really fast because I think my battery is about to die. I have 19 minutes in. Yeah, I don't have a lot on my memory card either. So let's go ahead and get into uh, Jeff and Shanice, which still. Like, we don't see a lot of them because right now they don't, they're not the couple with all of the drama necessarily. And they had the incident at the pumpkin, was it, is it a pumpkin patch? No, it was a maze. It was a corn maze, right? <laughs> so we, we see that with that little thing. But next week they'll be kissing and hugging again. Um, they're the couple of reason. Who would have thought? That they will be the couple or reason they are sitting in the middle and you you hear Jeff be asking questions questions that surely the producers have told him to ask because you know Jeff is just not going to be sitting there asking questions like that so their relationship is so intact at this point in the experience that producers are telling them to ask questions to the other ones I mean this is the questions are for everybody but they they are the solid couple right now and I I am flabbergasted I really am who would have thought weeks ago after the first episode that they would be the couple I don't understand it I've said it before I don't understand it I don't get it but it's working <laughs> so yeah I it's, it's yeah I um my thoughts still stand that I I don't understand it uh, I just want uh, Shanice to be happy. <laughs> I really want her to be happy. And uh, I do think they're going to stay. I'm going to be, I'm coming on record today for, for that couple as well. I'm going to say that they're going to stay together as well. Not as well. They're just, they're going to be the couple that stays together on decision day. And um, I think they're still together. I hope they're still together. I hope Shanice is happy. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say necessarily I hope they, they're still together. I just hope that she's 
happy because she's such like I said in the in the previous video she's such a sweetheart and I just I want the best for her so yeah all right guys so we have like I said two more episodes to go to go and this has been episode 13 and let me know your thoughts and opinions about what happened in this previous episode and yeah I can't believe we only have about two episodes to go is anybody watching um the flight one, the Married at First Flight, if you're watching that, let me know how it is. My friend, um, she watched one episode of it. I can't remember what she said, whether it was good or not. But if you are watching Married at First Flight, because I just think that's crazy. Well, Married at First Flight is crazy too. But Married at First Flight, really people, really, if you are watching that show, let me know first, should I watch it? And two... <laughs> Uh, what you think about it so far because yeah I, I just I don't know if I have the time to invest in that right now. so yeah that is it for this video um, let me let me know if you guys have any other comments or questions in the comments below as always you guys be blessed and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys